Hey y'all, <clears throat> I've been getting a tremendous amount of questions over the past few months on here about spraying pumpkins. And if you're tired of hearing me talk about spraying pumpkins because I've made some videos on this in the past, I'm sorry. But this is what I got going on right now. So I figured it'd be a good time to uh, talk about it just a little bit. So I'm on my third or fourth spray. I can't remember without looking at my book. Um, the last spray that I did on these pumpkins, I used Ranman plus Chlorothalonil plus Besiege. And um, Besiege is a pretty good insecticide. It is controlled use. you got to have a pesticide license to buy it. But it has immediate effect with the Lambda Psi that is in it. And it also continues to work on chewing and sucking pests. Um, but <clears throat> you just about have to put an insecticide in every spray uh, for trying to grow quality pumpkins because if not, there's gonna be something screwing them up, guaranteed. So for this pass across the field, we're gonna use some venom. Um, it's uh, a really good insecticide. It hangs around a while. Um, I would imagine it's controlled use too. Uh, it doesn't say right here on this label, but it's pretty potent stuff. So I'd, I would imagine it is. A lot of high-powered insecticides are. Um, my surfactant of choice at the moment is Syntac. That's a coastal agribusiness product. That's who I've been using these days. They seem to have really competitive pricing and they bring it to me once a week, every week. So, um, Arondis Opti. We've got downy mildew all around us. There's none confirmed in Davie County, but we're just about the only produce farm in Davie County. So, um, unless it gets confirmed here, which we hope it doesn't then. Um, but the, both counties on both sides of us have downy mildew in them. So it's time to really get in gear on downy mildew. Last time was Ram Man, that's a protectant. Arondis Opti will protect and is curative. So um, this is kind of the big gun. Try not to spend this much money until it's absolutely necessary. And now it's necessary. Um, also for this spray, we're going to put some Impact F. Uh, this is, well, you can read it, a biological plant and yield stimulant. Basically, this is supposed to keep the plants, when they're stressing in the heat, from aborting blooms. Typically, when a, a plant gets under a lot of stress, it'll start aborting blooms. Uh, just kind of a self-preservation uh, thing that they do. Tomatoes are bad about it. Pumpkins are bad about it certain in, during certain weather. Um, so that's what we're going to be spraying. They call it a stabilized biological complex. It's actually a hormone, but that's probably not sexy to say that because all these people are so weird about hormones, but it's a natural plant hormone that the plant takes in and it just... Uh, helps it to want to reproduce more um, and we're also going to put just a little bit of reinforced K in there and this is a foliar fertilized 5020 going to use a real low rate but it does a couple things um, whenever you're spraying uh, even if you're spraying herbicides if you put a little foliar fertilized in it really heatens, it heats up your um, herbicide and helps it kill. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but uh, so it, it's kind of a, kind of like caffeine in Excedrin for a headache. It just makes it work better. Uh, so that's part of it, but also just to kind of put a little pep in their step because right now they're using a lot of nutrients because they're trying to start making pumpkins. So we're just gonna add a little bit of reinforced K it's just a little bit of nitrogen and, and a fair amount of potassium. So 
I'm going to get this mixed up and try to get over there right before it gets completely dark and um, y'all get to see what the pumpkins are looking like and um, get a little bit of spraying done. One thing I didn't mention that's very important is if you don't know for sure that your chemicals and fertilizers and things that you're mixing are going to play well together, it's very wise to do a jar test. Also, always read your labels. You don't want to cause uh, phototoxicity and burn up your pumpkin crop. But uh, a jar test is a pretty smart thing to do if you don't know for sure that stuff's going to work out because it ain't going to be no fun. You get a sprayer tank full of cottage cheese that you can't even drain out the bottom because it gets so thick after everything reacts with one another. Just a little word to the wise there. I get done but I've got about three acres of pumpkins left I think and this year our pumpkin field is on some rented ground right down the road and after drive through the landowner's yard literally by their house to get back to the pumpkin field so trying to be a little bit considerate and not go in and out three more times by her house at uh, this hour. So, believe I'm going to call it a night and finish up tomorrow night. I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions about any of this stuff, uh, just drop it in the comments. I appreciate it. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.